The HP Media Vault is really one of the first of a whole new class of peripherals that are designed to fit into our digital living room. Now, earlier in the show, I mentioned UPNP, Universal Plug and Play. UPNP is a technology standard for automatically configuring our devices for discovering services and providing peer-to-peer -peer data transfer over IP networks. Let me boil this down into simpler terms for you because that sounds a little geekish. It means that we can plug in a device like the Media Vault and have it automatically discover our network and discover the different devices that live on our network. And that's actually a big deal. Then it will also configure our network so that we can share files and stream content. That, technically speaking, is another huge hurdle. Theoretically, it should make plugging in a media server as easy as it is to plug in a USB mouse. Now, to be frank, it's not quite that easy yet, but I gotta say, it's a lot easier than it ever was before. There's a few things that you need to address in your first installation, mainly relating to your network security. We are, after all, adding a shared network drive. Now, that process used to be the domain of IT departments and totally dedicated geeks. Now, when we first installed it, it was a really simple process walking through the actual physical installation. We plugged in the power, and we plugged the Ethernet port in the back of the Media Vault into an empty Ethernet port in our router. That was it as far as configuring it on the network. Then we installed some software on our computer to manage it. Now, it's important to understand at this point, we weren't installing a peripheral on our computer itself. This is a network device. It lives on the network. We manage it from our computer, but it doesn't live on any one computer. It's, it's shared equally amongst all the devices on the network. So it's not a local peripheral that's been installed with drivers, for instance, on our computer. Now, when we installed the software, to manage it on a computer, and you can install this on multiple computers if you want, it installed several pieces. It installed the Media Vault software itself and other software for doing backup and drive shadowing applications. But the Media Vault software is kind of the key. When I first installed it, it took about 20 minutes to set it up in the first place. We had to reboot the system several times for everything to find itself. But once it did, it was a very simple process. I didn't actually have to do very much configuration at all. What it brings me into is this screen here to manage the Media Vault itself. This is like a web browser window that's actually going out and looking at the device on the network rather than controlling a local peripheral. And we can browse our Media Vault, we can assign a letter, a drive letter to our shared folders, and we can also customize the Media Vault settings, which is how we actually set it up for streaming content later and not just backing information up. But let's start with just browsing the Media Vault, because this is pretty impressive. As soon as I click on this, out over the Ethernet network now, I'm brought into a shared drive, and it's already pre-configured for what our most common needs are going to be, for backing up our data, for sharing files, for managing a shared printer. Remember, there's a print server built into this, which is a great use. So now one printer can serve the whole family. Then we also have two folders. One of them is a Cinema Now folder, and the other is the Media Sharing folder. These are really compelling folders. The Cinema Now folder actually comes with a movie already pre-installed in it. If you start downloading movies from the internet and purchasing movies over online services on the internet, you'll store them in the Cinema Now folder, and they'll be accessible by your computer or by your TV over the network if you want to watch them. The media sharing folder is where we put all of our media, where we put movies that we've taken with our cell phones or our digital cameras or our digital video cameras. We put those videos in, we put our music in, we put that sort of data that we want to share in the media sharing folder. Now this doesn't look too spectacular as it sits right now, but I can tell you, technically speaking, doing this prior to a product like the Media Vault coming out was a really laborious process that, frankly, most people would have a very low success rate with. Now, it's as easy as plugging it in, putting in a CD, running the software, and then accessing the drive. So now we've got the Media Vault online and then ready to use, and we can and will do a surprising number of things with it. So up next, I want to show you some of the ways the Media Vault will change your life. All 26 episodes of Dottotech Season 3 are available to borrow at participating libraries. Check our website for details.